Hey everyone, Sarian here. Welcome back to Valhalla. So in our last episode, the streets were a bit too rowdy to actually stay in the bar, so we closed for a day. And Boss came along with us to the apartment, and uh, yeah, they had some drinks, talked over some beer, talked about their lives, and uh, got to know each other a bit more. So let's continue. So it looks like all the news on here is all about the Apollo Bank. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augmented I talked about it, but very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. Hmm. White Knight say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people are already dead. Jesus. Is someone there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. So the White Knights that were working there might have been the ones... ...that shot people. Explosion registered. There was an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. Hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names mentioned. Alice Rabbit might be involved. Interesting. Huh, someone doing stupid shit on the internet is being actually useful. <laughs> Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, it's actually pretty unsettling. The file is available from approximately 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the glitch city government and white knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the server inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. Jeez. Looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down some of the details for a future post. Godspeed, Anon. Interesting. So what is the news saying about it? Danger use admin has been arrested. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Danger U with a new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin for a second time. No details to give other than that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Zet Blanc told the augmented eye during a call, we are now tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest uh, for fur, would only respond with a calm, not this shit again. Nana Camo is making smart underwear. He just thought about looking up those, uh, looking up prices. Did not. If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, NanoCamo has you covered. <laughs> Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. Ugh. Just change its color to black and you'll barely notice. Won't change the smell though. They're not that advanced. Gross, gross, gross. Uh, let's see. GSF January 4th card announced 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke headlining. What is this? Uh, is this a fight? I see. Where's my underwear? Huh. All right. We've got to save up for electricity bills, so 
Let's go to work. Monday, December 19th. You even... Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many... So many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. Uh... See, Jill, he'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried? Isn't that normal? But when it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make l ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss. Why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Uh, because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I... I couldn't find my... Find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. Uh, I see. Uh, don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. R right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Yeah. So, cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear. And we don't want that. Let me fix my microphone here. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyways, let's start the day. Why do I gotta pick the music? What if something bad happens? And it's like cheerful music. Time to make drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Huh? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. BTC. Why can't I click on him? Boss, some Brian guy's looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um... You heard her. It's alright. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager at this parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Uh, um, I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position now, anyways. I don't mean like I'm just another client. Uh, alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Uh, let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're right, they're the most basic thing, but... People can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? 
Yep, that's me. Then I've talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Uh, mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. No, where to start? You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? Uh, about the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a lot of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently a proven and effective mon method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? The young pars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest low-income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. <sighs> You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing, don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never, almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. But knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember it, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Get me one of those, please. Sure. A suplex. What does he mean by created here? Like, is it originated here? Here. The registry form said that this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. <laughs> She'll call you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Uh, not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Uh, are you okay? I yeah, um, just call me Stella and... Get me a big beer, please. Huh, sure. On it. Uh, I hope... I hope Say is okay. Oh, she wanted a big beer.
Hmm. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um, you know, say, right? Uh, of course. W what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and... Oh. Right, that. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. <sighs> yeah, I figured as much. The air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. What does one do in this kind of situation? <laughs> Change the music. <laughs> Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try to say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I. Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A uh, private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art Van... No, Vondele. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. Oh, so that's why he was here. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, wherever they might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Uh oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Seems you really like Say. I don't have any brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say's more than a friend to me. She's... she's... Uh, sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want, want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, be making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. <sighs> Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break, and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay, then. 
Gail, please service Miss Sallow while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. <sighs> so, say wasn't on the body list, but she was there, does that mean... Maybe she went along with the white knights that were there. Something fishy is going on. I remember them mentioning something about some of the white knights just freezing in the middle of the street and just stopping. I don't know, maybe something happened to them. Who knows? God damn it, is it chilly outside? I'm back. huh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat Boomer girl greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started bad-mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was a normal conversation. I see. While I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhance you mean getting yanked around a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know, and true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny the meddling of the of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits. Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prison. AI went rogue? Transfer it to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although that program has been proving to, proven to reform many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success have made it more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just means more people will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh... Zaibatsu Corp's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs, shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... <sighs> Hey you, don't just sit there, give me a zen star. Sure. Let's make a zen star for the sore baby. Uh, it's four of each ingredient. Three, four. Oh, the rocks are mixed. Here. Ah, uh, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. 
I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be assessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones who, whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature. Whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um... Just get me whatever you order. Too bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Come on, Jill. We're professional. Oops. this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. <laughs> they didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm... <laughs> Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl. Someone paid me to look for a crimson rose. And she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with Say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually just so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in time, no time and managed, and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... <sighs> Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about all of that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. <sighs> I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. Alright. I guess it's the same with Gil. He knows how to take care of himself. I wonder.
sure where she would go though. And why? Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. And I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Mr. Hosh Miss Hoshi. Please do. Alright then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. Hey, you don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near their arca arcades. Alright then, that would be all, Dana. Quite a mess the situation with, um, Robert. Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. <laughs> How would you even say that? Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Hmm. Um. This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. <laughs> Why are you saying that? She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's interesting that what? It finally hung up. Phew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. <laughs> I have <laughs> arrived yet again at the. Oh god! At the majestic hall of heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. Hey, you look winded. <laughs> Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. And now I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. Uh... You looked winded, Virgilio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um... I was jogging. Just like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake? Ah, <laughs> I don't know. What's fake around here? the exact same ingredients as the piano man. Just a little different. Here you go. Now tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Uh, say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? 
I study everything that comes and clean, keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been uh, hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me stop touching the ex exhibits, you're going to break them. The nerve of some people. What was that song? Uh, huh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Uh, even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Uh, I can't give him pure ingredients, so, um... <laughs> Maybe there's one with one ingredient? How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can no, do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. <sighs> hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? I uh, can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. Huh. No, 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 no. We haven't met, ever, at all. That's an interesting reaction. <laughs> ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? No, we haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um, did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before. Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff. Don't mention it. Don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well... We were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Huh. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? It, yeah. It must be nothing. Ooh, flawless service. Uh, well, we have a few days before the electricity bill. So. Oh, what's this? Nano camel underwear. Think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. They will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to get use the skin you want. It's gonna get cracked day one. <laughs> Not the pirated underwear. I think I'll just wait until it's modded for custom skins. I thought the mana machine fabric was bad for your health. My walls are made of that thing and I'm alright. Are the walls hacked yet? <laughs> uh, 
That was from yesterday. Men prefer Christmas cakes. The term Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above were regarded as undesirable, just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 25th. What? <laughs> Who doesn't like a mature woman, Todd? 19 said that, told the augmented eye. They have all the necessary experience already, and plus, I'm so tired of spoiled, immature girls doing stupid shit. I say bring on the hot office ladies. Jill, 27, is confused. Christmas what? Is, like, is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best. AM <laughs> <laughs> Township 64 announced. New waifu machine. Sukaban Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime, anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus game console. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We're going for the Wii audience, said Kiri Ririn 51, a Sukaban Soft janitor. <laughs> janitor. <laughs> What's dignity anymore? Sukaban Soft plans to launch the AM Township sometime next year. Interesting. And the EKDV186 gets historic update. Uh, interesting. An update to a line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced allowing civilian models of this weapon the use of nano camouflage and the option to customize their looks for free with the help of the nano camo app. We've been using nano camo in the battlefield for a year now. Thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano camo. Do you like guns? Nah, I don't need a penis that badly. Ah, oh, something new from Kirimiki. Dream person. Every now and then, I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago, and directly being thrown in this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry, makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all my possible feelings, and my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people, because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my songs. I suddenly have an urge to hug her. Cute. Alright. We're gonna save, and... That's where we're gonna end the episode for today. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to take care of yourself today, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.